Glass is a glass is a beautiful material, but uh, it's got a. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's so beautiful that the, those those uh, that light that it reflects that it absorbs and gets stuck in your head. I think and so. If you look at a lot of glass, particularly when you when you're uh, um, not more for me, but also when I was teaching at VCU, I used to tell the students, you know, don't look at glass, otherwise you ended up doing redoing the same thing that other people did. Look at other media, you know, look, uh, and look at the surroundings that you have, you know, and just a uh, piece of detail. In the, because unfortunately, then they, they, and me too, sometimes you fall into the repetition of what somebody else did. It. Not that it, that it is wrong, because you can do, you can get inspired by it. But uh, uh, it's very, very easy to, particularly with glass, to fall into that that thing of redoing exactly what another person did uh, and, uh, and also the glass world is um, slightly different from the painting world for instance because the painting world goes goes in uh, um, how do you say in periods you know? and so we know that, that during impressionistic period all the impressionists use the same technique more or less and in uh, post impressionist and you know, Expression is a positive expression, and so on and so forth. So, the 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 technique is the se se same, but even sometimes the subject matter. Because I mean, look at the impressions. How many of them painted uh, the same uh, scene inside a cafe or from outside the cafe? You know, they all did many, many of the same. But this nobody ever thought about saying, "Oh, this guy is copying the other guy." The glass is different because they're unfortunately the glass world. Uh, Museums and collectors identify one person, one object, and or one line of object, and then somebody else repeats it, it, it becomes copy instead of being inspired. So that's why I always told my students not to do that, uh, to be, but also to get much more, you get more inspiration from other media, from other art. They just don't want to look at what's inside the museum. They go inside the museum, they look only the glass size, and then they leave. Just look at the painting. There's so much that you can get idea. So uh, one final question: glass. You talk about the, the world of glass. How do you see it changing, and where do you see it going? I know that a lot of contemporary artists are becoming yeah. interested in glass, yeah. and yeah. either using it themselves or hiring glass artists to make yeah. their work. And do you see it uh, becoming more of a part of the whole art world, or? What do, you, yeah. what do you think about the future? I think it's going to become more a part of the artwork if we, if the glass blowers are willing to accept artists that don't have anything to do with glass uh, uh, becoming part of it. Because uh, uh, there are people that are very, very happy to become very, very good glass blowers uh, or gaffer, or whatever you call it, without doing art. They have fun just making glass and working with glass or doing the media. So I think we should welcome them. And they are the ones that are going to push up, push and move us to a higher level. Uh, at high level. Right now, many of the famous glass blowers there or glass artists are still on the production crafty side. You know, so we need the input of those people that are uh, coming from uh, uh, with an or an art education or uh, an art background that has nothing to do with glass and bringing new design, new new ideas, new. Unfortunately, there's always that obstacle that many of those people coming in and they are completely ignor ignorant about glass. And they come up with ideas that are, or they are not, uh, they are impossible to execute in glass, or they are things that have been done before in the glass world. So we need to educate them first into the glass. So I think, but it's good that they are coming.